Hi, it's Kylie Koo. Thanks for joining me in my studio today. So, I hope you all had lots of fun doing painted masterboards. I know I did. And thanks so much to everybody that watched both part one and part two of my masterboard videos. And, uh, you know, thanks for the lovely comments that you left and the thumbs up and all of that good stuff. So many thanks for that. Today I'm about starting to use these master boards and backgrounds. I've obviously got a lot here because I did it over two sessions. So I'm not going to be able to do them all in this one video. Otherwise it'd be a very long video. I know what I want to do with this, but I'm going to do that separately. And I hope to have a video on that later uh, in the week, next week, and you know, hopefully with some of these as well. Today I'm going to focus on these first batches that I did, and I've got a very special project for this. So what I'm going to do is, I'll tell you a little bit about that as I go along, but I'm actually going to make these into ATC size cards. Now ATC is artist trading card, two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And the idea is that you can swap them with people. These are not for swapping. Uh, these are going out to some very particular people that I want them to go to. And as I say, I'll say about that as I go along. But I'm going to start now by simply cutting some of them down into ATC size, because I've got quite a lot of these to make. I've got about a hundred that I want to make. I'm not going to make them all on camera today, but I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do that. So I will change into kind of editing mode and we'll put this on a little bit faster. So I hope you enjoy and I hope this gives you a little bit of one of the ideas that you can do with this. And as I say, I should be back during the week with some more ideas. So, if you're in the Mixed Media Emporium, your challenge this week is simply to make something with your painted masterboard or background. So I'm just going to use my cutting board to cut these into three and a half inch strips to begin with, and then I'll cut them, each strip, into two and a half inches. So I reached out to one of my subscribers recently who I know works with a carers group and if you follow Nina you'll have heard Nina mention Maggie. So I asked Maggie if she would like a bundle of these cards to put out to her group and she said yes so that's great there's a bundle of these going there. I also reached out to a couple of friends in the US who I know make things and distribute them in their local communities to ask if they wanted to take some of these cards as well so they will distribute them to whoever they want to. That last strip there I cut into two and a half inches because it wasn't going to do the full three and a half but I'll then cut it into three and a half long so I end up actually getting 21 ATC size cards out of this one sheet of A3 paper. So yes some of these cards going down south by down south I mean down the south of the UK into England and others going across the pond and I hope at some time that I can maybe make some more and if there's other people that can maybe distribute them to, to anywhere then I'd be happy to make some. So I am calling these Caring Heart cards uh, just to, to show people that one there are people out here that care, you know, other people in the community who care for them and who care about what they do. And of course, in some instances, they're carers. Just showing you those were all the little bits that I had left over from that one piece of paper. And of course, I can use them for something else. Now you'll see here that each card, although it came from that one master board, is very different. I have a clear stamp there. I've had it for years. It came from Hobbycraft. I think it was either 50 pence or one pound at the time, can't remember. Taking a number of colours now, this is fuchsia, this is red, black, these are all hobby craft, craft paints, and then that bronze metallic. And what I want to do is to try and create a colour to stamp a heart onto my ATCs, onto the backgrounds didn't want that red as was. I felt that that was just too bright. So all I'm doing here is a little sample, just mixing a few colours together to see what, what I can get. So the red, 
the fuchsia, some of the gold, and I'll add in a little bit of the black. So I'm just going to mix these three together to begin with to see what I can get, because what I want here is quite a dark red. Now I could have simply added the black to the red, but I didn't think that's that was going to give me the colour that I wanted. So you see, just trying on my stamp there, and I am just going to put it on with a paintbrush. So just giving that a good bit of colour. And I'm thinking that's that's quite a nice colour of red. Put my card against it, looking at it, and I think, no, I want to darken it a little bit, so I'm going to take some black. Had a bit of a job getting this out. This is one of the reasons, too, that I want to start using up these craft paints, because some of them I've had for a while. They're getting quite thick, quite gloopy, almost, in places. So, you know, I want to use these. So struggle there for a couple of minutes. I don't put much out because I know I won't need a lot of it. Just add a tiny bit onto the brush there. It was the tiniest amount. You see it's gone quite dark, just too dark. I did give it a try. I'm thinking this is going to be way too dark, but I want to try it before I start to add some more colours in. And actually, I quite like that, because it's a kind of rusty red colour, and I think that might go quite nicely with the background. What I decide to do, I take one of my little pieces that was left over, the little off-cut, it's just about big enough. I'm having to mix a little bit more on the, the palette there, just using a bit of deli paper to mix it up. You see, I'm always careful with the amount of black that I add. I just try and do a little bit at a time because it's easier to add more, whereas you can't really take it away. So, just trying this again. I'm going to try it on my little piece of card to see how it works out. Pressing it down firmly. And I like it. Now, originally I had just been going to use this heart to get the shape of the heart and I was going to smooth the paint out but once I saw it with that kind of textured background I really liked it. So I'm liking that colour. I had been going to mix it onto a small gel plate and then roll it onto my stamp but I love the way that it creates the texture on the page as is. So I'm now just going to get a little jar and I'm literally going to mix that paint up in this jar. So, I've got myself a little glass jar here. I think it was a dessert or something had come in it, so I just saved that because I thought this would be handy for paint. And I'm just mixing those same colours into that jar because I do want quite a bit of this. And you see, just adding a tiny bit of black, just a little bit each time, don't want to overdo it. Now, you know, if I had to mix this up again, I might not get the exact same colour, but that's okay. I know roughly what I want to, to to get and I've got my little piece of paper off to the side if I do want to try and colour match it for others. But I know that's going to be more than enough for today. So all I'm going to do now is to take my cards and start painting the clear stamp and stamping on. Oh, did I decide to do another test? Yes, I did another test just to make certain Yep, liking that. As I say, almost a kind of rusty red colour. And I just felt that would go nicely with that background. And of course, a lot of that is down to personal preference. Other people might prefer something much brighter in terms of colour. But I wanted this. And you can see the texture there, which is what I was really going for. Now, I'm basically doing the same process here over and over on the 21 cards. So, let's jump ahead. So, I've got my 21 cards done on my little test piece. I've still got paint left, so I will put a piece of plastic wrap or something like that over the top of that. I'm just going to wipe my stamp down at this point just to get the paint off that's going into the little kind of crevices, simply because if it dries, then I'm not going to get the same textured look with the next batch that I do. And I dry these off. Just a quick tip about acrylic paints. 
just in case you don't know this, many of you will, but acrylic paint dries from the bottom, uh, sorry, from the top down. So sometimes the top can appear dry, but where it's thick and textured, if you rubbed over it, you might still release paint. So just to say, you know, it's it's something to look out for. So I'm taking out my ink tents here. I look at a couple of reds and I was going to test them, but then I knew which one I wanted. And it was the one called Shiraz. It's to me, it's a lovely deep red colour. And what I want to do now is to start to define the shape of the heart a bit more. The way the stamp is, it doesn't have a hard edge around the outside. And I just want to define it a little bit more without making it too hard. So I'm simply going round my little test piece. And this is where a little off cut and using it as a test piece is quite handy because then you can try things out. So I've just got a small flat brush here, dipping it in the water. And then I can start to blend the ink tense pencil out. Now I could keep it a very hard line or actually I could pull it out and over the entire heart. So I'm liking how that looks and what I decide to do is then to take the Shiraz pencil again, the Inktense pencil, and just go around the outside edge. Not looking to make this uniform in any way, but what I'm going to do again is just to take some water on the brush and blend that out a little bit. Now you could put this on more of the card, you know, spread it out a bit or just leave it in a firmer line. Lots of options there with that, but I definitely like the way that that's looking. So I decide to move on to my main cards. And I'm going to do the exact same here. So around the heart, round the outside edge, and then I'll just blend that out a bit with some water. Now I do this on six cards. Uh, rather than doing the full 21 at this stage, I just do it on six. And again, I won't show you all of that, I'll just jump ahead to the next stage because it's basically the same thing I do on each. So this is good for, for projects where you want to make a lot of the same thing, albeit all will look different. So at this point I give them a good dry again. Next I'm just going to take this line marker and this Sharpie pen. I just want to start to add a little bit of detail just for a little bit more interest. Just putting some marks here and there. But then what I decide to do is to actually go around the heart with this thin marker. And I also do a thin border, just a sketchy border. Again, I'm just doing it on my little test card just to make sure that I like it before I commit to doing it on the other cards. Oftentimes I will just go and do something just because I think this will work. But, you know, today I found that little card was helpful. Just testing to see if this pen is permanent. I couldn't remember. And it certainly seems to be. And with the Sharpie, I'm just going to add some little white dots. I just always think that this kind of thing just lifts all the colours. You know, a little bit of white, a little bit of black, and it just seems to, to lift everything. There you see, I went back to my little test card again, just to see what it would look like if I just did a kind of scratchy black outline round the heart. Not going right round it, doesn't matter if all the lines join up or not, but just kind of going round there. Just helps add definition and more interest to it. So again, I'll just show you this one and then we'll jump ahead to the next stage. Now at this point in time, there's virtually anything you can do in these. This is just the way I wanted to, to finish it off. I didn't have anything definite in mind, but things just kept coming to me and I just thought, well, we'll try that out. Okay.
thought they were finished at that point but I decided they needed a little bit more so what I've done now is I've taken out a, a jelly roll pen and also a Pentel hybrid because I just want to add a little bit more white here and there and I just again just add little bits to the heart not too much and some little bits to the border not going right round just some little bits of white here and there because again I just feel that that's going to lift it a bit so I just keep going on these cards I do end up swapping the jelly roll pen out for the Pentel hybrid gel uh, I don't know if this one was running out or if it just wasn't reacting too well with some of the other products on the cards so I do swap that out and you can see there how they're now looking they're pretty clean on the back but I think what I'm going to do at some point is to actually back them onto something but at this point I decided that I wanted to try and lift the colour a little bit so I do have this gloss medium I'm just looking here just to see if there's any special instructions that I needed to pass on to you it's a while since I used this but I don't often use gloss medium but I just felt it might just lift it a bit so again doing it on my test card now what I noticed here was and I was quite surprised at this it was moving some of the ink tents ink tents once it's been wet is normally permanent but it may have been of course that there's little bits that I hadn't actually pulled out but I didn't mind that I was able to to move the red anyway so I like to look at that first coat and you'll see just off to the side there little bits of the the red ink tens so I decide to do my six cards you know if this didn't work then it's okay uh, that I would just use these myself and then for the next batch I would do it differently taking a smaller brush there just to to kind of lift and move any little bits of red and I really like the way this turned out so now drying them off well and then I actually do a second layer now as I say I might well back these cards onto another layer of paper not quite decided about that yet but I think that's where I'm heading so here are the finished cards they've got just enough of a glossy look that lifts colours underneath just showing you that I swapped the two pens out there the pen tail for the jelly roll the gloss did move a little bit of the white pen you'll see there but actually I like the effect that that created so I'm quite happy with that like I say if I hadn't liked it I would have just done another batch of cards but I do like the way that that gloss has just lifted the entire thing the background and the heart in the foreground so these are my caring heart cards going to be going out to a lot of people people that I don't know but I just want them to know that I care about them and for those that are carers uh, in whatever capacity you know it's their caring heart as well so this is just here to let you see an idea of what can be done Nina will have a video I'll link it below of course and I will be back in a few days with some more ideas so as always take care thanks for watching bye for now